Hello there, I am Giant Grodel with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we got here to Heart Home City and we, uh, what do we do? We, um, got through a rod, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, Route 207 and Route Cornet. And, um, the next route with the Berry Master and everything, I think that's, um, where we were at. So, yeah. Yeah, I have a slight cough, so I'm sorry if I like, um, if I sound a little bit different and uh, I cough a little bit. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna after this video, I'm gonna uh, try to take some cough medicine, like cough drops and stuff, to help that. But for right now, I'm just gonna have to deal with it, you know. So I have to be a man and uh, do what I have to do. So um. I think like our levels are pretty good. Bronze has um the experience share still. Jeez. <clears throat> yeah, he has experience share. Um so he's almost caught up with the levels, so that's with it for us, because everyone's level twenty two or twenty three. Well, Rose is twenty three, the only one. And then bronze is almost level twenty two, so that's good. So um we're gonna continue on and Let's go to the contest hall first, and oh, who are you? Oh, I'm so sorry, please excuse me. Are you entering a contest? Tee hee hee. Enjoy yourself, please. Uh, incidentally, Fentina, the Harlem gym waiter, also happens to be a contest expert. Uh, and you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fentina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger. Then you can challenge me. Then you may challenge me. So like, just like in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald, uh, the third, the fifth gym, the fifth gym, with the fifth gym badge, you have to wait till you get four badges instead of just battling it. Cause like in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald, you could you couldn't battle your dad Norman uh, until you got four gym badges, and he was the fifth gym waiter when you was like the first town when, uh, when Petalburg City was um just the first city you actually got with the gym went to at the gym. In this game, it's, uh, you got three badges so far, or, you know, two badges so far. You think Fanti does a third gym badge and gym leader, third gym leader who gives out the third badge, but she's actually the first. You have to get four badges before you can battle her, too. So if that makes any sense at all, hopefully I did explain that correctly. Okay. Oh, my hero. Oh, hi, Steven. Wait, no, really? Joanna is your mom? So, you might be a contest star? Oh, I don't know about that. I never spoke to Steven about contests. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory. We got the glitter powder. Nice. It's pretty cool. Steven put the glitter powder. Okay, what do I want to do with that? Okay, put that experience, uh, put that accessory on your Pokemon before a contest. And I'll lend you a nice touch of. Uh, sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge, so come enjoy, join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure of, of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I'll see you. Yep, that's cool. Were you surprised to see me, Steven? I was a good boy, so I came out to her home for a little vacation. I am just surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering contests not just that way? When your Pokemon is all dressed up, you can't be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. We got the tuxedo. Nice. I'm sure it will look good on you after all. I chose it. You go enjoy yourself. Enjoy, go enjoy your con the contest, sonny. Uh, Contests will give you a different look at many at the many charms of Pokemon. It's sure to be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. So there we go. Okay, I just had to check something real quick. In OBS Studio. Um. And let's talk to you. Um, you're going to be entering con you're going to enter contests, but I don't see a puffin case. It could be tough for you to win contests without one. But if you're determined to enter, don't let us stop you. Don't let me stop you. 
I wouldn't hurt it wouldn't hurt to get some practice at the counter on the right. So it's just I think if you talk to this person, um though you know wait, I think we need a popping case too. I don't know where the popping case is, honestly. And I'm not really gonna be covering contests, but uh they're just there if you want it. I mean, they're not required to like enter the Pokemon League. Those are just for, just for gym badges. Here's the Amity Square, and I don't know if I have a Pokemon that can uh, walk around with me in it. But I could be wrong. Again, the Pokemon Square, you can go on a stroll with your cute with the cute Pokemon. The primitive Pokemon are Pikachu, Scorpery, Psyduck, and Patrisu, Hapini, Burmy, and Drifloon. Let's come back with one. Okay, we don't have any of those Pokemons that kind of stinks. So, uh, but I think you can get like the Amulet coin in there somewhere, which is really cool. I might pick it up later, but I don't have a Pokemon to go strolling around with me. By the way, here's the gym right here. So yeah, you talk to the Rice Giver. Hey there, how's it going, champ champion? Uh, how's it going, trainer? Uh, y you being a here. Tells me you're going to challenge the gym leader. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's impossible. The question you're questioning why, and the answer is she's not here. <coughs> she's not here. Um, come back another time, okay? I'll be waiting here. F I'll be here waiting. So yeah, she's. If you go to the gym, she's just not there. You know, Fantina's is not there. We talked to her earlier. She says we have to become. We have to get base. base become much stronger which means we have to get four gym badges and come back if you go to the uh, if you go to the house next to the uh, pokemon center then you talk to this person it's actually beeb the um person who runs the pokemon pc storage system so that's cool hi uh, are you oh you're a trainer <coughs> that means you're using pokemon boxes i love meeting and users oh what's up why that astonished look all right Sorry, th there I go running my mouth again. My name is Beeb. I'm gonna call it Beeb. <laughs> but BB, I, I don't know really how to pronounce it. Um, you know that Pokemon, po uh, PC Pokemon boxes? It's the system, I'm the system administrator. Okay, and if you talk, after you talk to her, you know, it's, it, it will no longer say someone's PC. It'll say Beeb's PC. So yeah. So if you go down here, and after you finish, after you talk to the uh, Kira and the um, contest doll, get the glitter powder and the tuxedo and talk to your mom, well, your mom gives you the tuxedo. There's actually a rival battle coming up, so, um, let's see here. I think, I think rival starts with a electric type, or no, flying type Pokemon, so, I think bronze would be my best bet to start with. Yeah, I'll try that, yeah, and I think about it. So let me switch bronze to the front. I'm pretty sure uh, Sam will start with a Styly. So let's just go right here and oh look he's all shocked. Ta-da! Kept me waiting again Steven. Let's see how much tougher you, you and your... You have... Tougher you and I have gotten right here and now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You expected to be ready for battle. No waiting, no waiting. Let's get the show started. <coughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, he starts with Starly. Okay. <coughs> cool. Um, let's go for the Confuse Ray first. I think this Starly is meant, like, if you use... If you try and knock it out, or um, get like down to 1 HP or something, or low HP in the reds, it'll use Evid- Ed <coughs> It will use, um, Edivore, and uh, bring down the same amount of HP, and then use Quick Attack on you, to faint you. Yeah, that's the strategy he goes with with the Starly, most of the time. So, but luckily, Bronze is slower, so that Edivore hit me before, hit Bronze or before, or Bronze, before- it was even ready to attack it, you know? So luckily I confused it. And let's go for the extra sensory. Yeah, it's confused. And it hurt self-confusion, cool. 
Nice. Well, I did a lot, because uh, Star Wars attack stat is really high, I guess, because it's a physical attacking Pokemon, really. It has good, it, not really that, but it has really good physical attack. Oh, critical hit. Nice. So that style wasn't too hard. Okay. Ponyta, okay, I guess it's another fire type on me, huh? Okay. I'm gonna set up my water type. Okay, let's do, um, Aqua Jet, I guess. Did about it did around half, yeah about half or right at half HP max HP I guess so yeah oh yeah I'll show you something we could do okay what if you say Sam what if you say Zilly, okay. Switch to. Well, I'd switch to Inferno, I guess. So this battle isn't really too hard. I mean, just gotta watch out for like his moves and stuff. And it's just if you have the type advantages, this fight will be pretty easy, honestly. It's just flame wheel. There we go. Let's see how much this does. Knocks it out nice. Okay. Cool. Brown grew, Brown's grew level 22. I guess that means that Brown's doesn't need the expansion anymore because he's really caught up with all the. with most of the team, you know? Crimple up, huh? Okay. Let's go to Rose then. Up. Okay, cool. Let's use uh, Mega Drain, I guess. Ooh, quick call activated, nice. So I so Ron, uh, so Ron, Rose gets the first attack. Or gets attack first. How awesome is that? Okay, they're about a little bit over a third of its HP. Let's use Pack, which is super effective. Okay. Ooh, yeah, I did about a third on um, me too. Yeah. Quick call activated again. Nice. It's awesome. One more Mega Drain after this should work in Faint Day, so that's good. Yeah, one more Mega Drain. Get some bros get some HP back, which is awesome. And let's get Peck again, okay. And let's use one more Mega Drain. What's that? We're in trouble, but there's not giving up on me. I think I read that right, but not really actually. I think I didn't read the second part right. Three quick call, acti three quick call uh, activations in a row or effects, you know? I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, it goes, there goes down the print up. It didn't sound like it made sense, but sorry. There, there goes the print up, I should say. Yeah. And there we go. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Siam. What just happened? Are you told me you lost? Yeah, sorry, man, but thanks for the 22,100 Poke Dollars. Wow, you carried my team again? I mean, this is my, my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever. No, I just need to get tougher and keep winning one day. That's it. I'm going to challenge the Veilstone Gym next. See you around, Steven. You. You'll be blown away by how much tougher I'll be next time we meet. Okay, that's cool. I think you want to go back to the Pokemon Center and have like an empty spot. Like have one slot. Just withdraw one of your Pokemon. Okay, can I, basically you want to have five Pokemon and uh, not six if you have six like me. I'm going to heal up real quick and do that. With deposit a Pokemon real quick. Okay, so, um, also, I am, while I'm thinking about it, I didn't make up my bicycle, sorry. Um, while I'm thinking about it, let me take this experience shirt off of bronze. So, let me do that real quick. 
let's put Rose switch with for now, I guess. Yeah. That's cool. And the reason why you want to have one empty slot in your party um, is because you can get a Pokemon egg right here in a second. So let's, if you talk to this hiker dude, he'll say, hi, hi, uh, do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this in the daycare of this in Slayston Town. Want to take it? Sure, why not? Here you go. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that dialogue, sorry. If you take that egg and travel with an energetic Pokemon, it'll hatch. Uh, I remember someone announced that Professor Elm, Johto maybe? Oh, they made reference to that. I know they make a couple Johto references in this game, but I didn't really, I didn't really know that was a, that uh, that that was a reference too. Huh? You learn something new every day, Professor Elm from the the Gold Seven Crystal and Heart Gold Silver. Silver. That's pretty cool. So um, if you go to the yeah, you have an egg right here. I think it hatches into Happiny. Um, and it's what's cool about it is art. It just says uh. Well, this will hatch from this. It doesn't seem close to hatching. Okay, I thought I would say like, oh, but it's almost close to hatching. But actually, I think it's like a few thousand steps you have to take to hatch this egg. And I believe it hatches into Happiny at level 1. <laughs> because you know. <laughs> because you know, um, that in, in Diamond Pound Platinum, that was actually the first games where they actually had a level 1 Pokemon. A level 1 Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, it hatches into Happiny, I believe. Which is the pre-evolved form of Chansey, which is pretty cool. So yeah, uh, I'd recommend going to Cycling Road and, uh, uh, you know, getting on your bicycle and going up and down Cycling Road. Because that's a really fast way to uh, get some steps so you can hatch the egg faster, you know. Because it's a certain amount of steps, you know. Yeah, but as I was saying, it's like a certain amount of steps to uh, hatch the egg. So keep that in mind. So, yeah, you know. Okay, so let's head off to the next route, which is Route 209, Slicing. I don't get I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'll just tell us in a second, you know. So let's just go through this transition building. We have Route 209. So that's, I'm going to end the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on Route 209 and hopefully we can finish all of it. So, and hopefully get to Slicing Town. Because that's where our next town or town is, you know, with the Pokemon Center and everything. But uh, Slice and Town doesn't have a gem. So keep that in mind. So this is Mr. Go again. I would like to mention you again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide.